Hello everyone, this is Building with Buchanan, and today I'm going to show you how to get set up on a program called Fusion 360, which is a 3D modeling program. So I should explain a couple things first. Uh, Fusion 360 is a little bit different than some of the other programs you might be familiar with because it's a cloud-based program. So what that means is when you work on some projects and you save it, you aren't actually saving your file to a disk on your computer. It's actually getting saved to the cloud, which is some kind of storage system on the internet somewhere. So this comes with a really great benefit of being able to work on any computer, like including your computer at home, and build your files and then be able to just walk up to another computer and log into your Fusion account and there all your files will be. It also has the advantage of uh, multiple people are able to work on the same file at the same time versus other programs which are stored on your disk physically on the computer don't have this ability because uh, it's actually stored on your computer and you can only work on the computer yourself. Um, one other aspect of it though is that every time you use Fusion 360 you have to log into it. So if you haven't set up an account already with Fusion 360, then this is what we're going to have to start with. So let's start by registering ourselves. And so to do this, we're going to go to the Autodesk website and register ourselves. Now there's one little distinction that we need to take care of. Um, Fusion gives you a 30-day free trial to try their software out, and then after that they make you pay for it, unless you're a student in which case they give you a three-year free trial. All you have to do is you have to sign up for the education version of it. So in your search bar up top here, just search for Fusion Education. And it's going to be the first one that pops up for you. Free software for students, educators, etc. So go down here. Step one, sign in or create an account. So you need to create an account and give them your country, whatever your country is, Cambodia, Cameroon, Canada, there it is. And you are a student, I'm gonna assume. They asked you for your birthday. If you're not comfortable putting in your real birthday, I wouldn't, um, I didn't give them my real birthday. Don't tell anyone. And yada yada, so I'm just gonna say January 1st, 2001, next. Okay, and then it's going to ask you for some other things, your name, your email, all this kind of stuff. Again, you don't need to give them your real name if you really don't want to. You do need to give them an email that works, though, because step two of this process is an authorization code, which they send to your email. So once you do this and you create an account, then you go over to step two. They send you an authorization code, and you click the link, and then you are authorized to use Fusion 360. So... Step three is to download it, which you shouldn't have to do. There should be Fusion 360 on all the computers in school here. So when you do finally get to this stage and you open it up, uh, you're going to see pretty much a blank screen here. I'm just going to show you one more thing in this video and then explain how to actually start making some parts in the next one. So where you actually save your files, it's in this place called a data panel. So here's some of the projects that I've been working on. Uh, I made a little... Uh, box out of five different sides. I'm going to use this on the laser cutter. I'm going to laser cut the sides out and make a nice little box like that. Um, if we want to go to all of our projects, this is where they all are here. So I saved all of my projects under the All Projects tab, and for some reason most of them are in my first project. So here's all the projects I've been working on recently. You need to be careful where you save things because if you save things into a th place called demo project or something like that and you can't find it later, you need to go into the folder that says demo project. Uh, what I would recommend before you start anything is to just hit this button that says start a new project. And we're going to call this, I don't know, uh, trial projects or something like that. Okay. And then from now on, I want to save everything into the trial projects. Or if I wanted to work on, mm, I don't know, a trebuchet or something big like that, I might make a new folder for trebuchet, and then all of my parts that I make are all going to go into that folder. All right, so at this point, you're set up, you have an account, and you know where to save things. In the next video, we're going to get into actually making some parts.